means it right, and today I want to show you how to multiply any number by 11 using the Trachtenberg method. And it's awesome because it's super easy, and all you have to know how to do is add. First, we need to start with a simple problem so you can understand the basics. So, what we're going to do at the beginning of this is we're going to put a draw zero here, which is at the beginning of the problem, and over here, which is at the end of the problem. And you're going to do this with every single problem you do when you multiply by 11. So, you're going to do this problem from right to left. So, first you want to take 0 plus 3, and that would be 3, of course. So, you want to write that down here, then 3 plus 3, so 6, 3 plus 6, 9, and then 6 plus 0, so 6. So that's going to be your full answer. And you will always start with the same first and last digit. Okay, so now we're going to try another example. If you want to, you can pause the video, try out the problem yourself, and then restart it and see what you get. Alright, so now we're just going to do this one like we did with this first one. We're going to add a 0 here and add a 0 here. Then we're going to do 0 plus 4, so 4. Then 4 plus 4, 8. 4 plus 4 again, 8. And then 4 plus 0, so 4. And as I said earlier, you will always have matching first and last digits. Alright, so now we're going to do a problem with carrying. Since these are all big numbers that add up to more than 10, you need to know what to do when you have that problem. So we're going to start it as normal, a 0 here and a 0 here. And you're going to add it the same as you did before as well. 0 plus 8 would be 8. 8 plus 9 would be 17. So what you're going to do with that is you're going to put your 7 here and then put your 10, which is going to be your remainder, and just put 1 up there for that. Then 9 plus 7 is six, uh, 16, of course. So 16 plus the 1 there, so 17. So put your 7 here and you're one there, and you're going to do the exact same thing that you did over here, over here. So, 7 plus 0 plus 1 is 8. You may have noticed that the 7 and the 8 here don't match up. I remember I told you guys earlier that uh, the first and last digit of your number that you multiply times 11 and your answer will always match up. But, that's not the case because I had to carry a 1 over here and add it to the 7. Alright, now you're ready to do with the Trachtenberg method this gigantic number. I want to walk you through it, but if you want to try yourself, go ahead and pause the video and then come back once you've got your answer. Alright, I want to put your zeros here like you did last time. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 7 9. 7 plus 3 0. 1 up here, 3 plus 4, 7, add your 1 there, 8, 4 plus 1, 5, 1 plus 9, 10, put your thing up there, 0 here, 9 plus 7 is going to be 17 because you have that 1 there, so 7 here, 1 there, 7 plus 6, 13, add your 1, 14, put that up there, 6 plus 8, 14, add your 1, 15, put your 5 there, 1 there, 8 plus 3, 11, add your 1, 12, 2 there, 1 there, 3 plus 4, 7, add your 1, 8, then 4 plus 5, 9, and last but not least, 5 plus 0, which is 5. And now you have your gigantic number, 5982547058095. Now that you've mastered multiplying times 11 using the Trackenberg speed system of mathematics, you can either wait for my next video or get the book.